Hi viewers, welcome to my YouTube channel Curiosity Rocks and this is my review of Sherlock what I've just seen. First of all, I've got a little bit shy but first of all, yeah, I have to put it down because it's the best thing that Moffat's ever done. Moffat and Gages have ever done. Ah, it was amazing. I'm so pleased to have my hero back because oh, he shows my mind, that's my mind. Oh, that's how my mind works on the TV. It's so amazing. He's got a detic memory. He can place himself in actual environments. I can do that. I can do that. My mind does that itself. It's amazing. I I don't have to find the words to explain how my mind works. Just watch Sherlock. That the the bit where he hears John Watson talking in his ear. I get that too. And the by palace, that's me, that's how my mind works. Okay, it's not as optimal as Sherlock has and I can't talk that fast, but that is how my mind works and that's why it's so brilliant to have Sherlock back. Because then I can explain, I can explain my brain twin. He's my brain twin. Yay, maybe see Sherlock. She's my brain twin, my brain twin. <laughs> uh, so, you don't know how Buff and Gators do know how amazing it is to have a brain twin on the TV. He's so awesome and brilliant. And she's how my brain works and everything. And he's got ordinary parents. <laughs> That's hilarious. No offence, but. Uh, I am a bit, sort of, I don't get too bossy, but I do get a bit annoyed of ordinary parents. You just don't know the amazingness in my brain. I'm great at quizzes, by the way. But I loved Sherlock. I love Anson's theory. I loved that the bungee cord and he kissed Molly. That's obviously going to be in fan videos. And Moriarty and Sherlock kissing. That was brilliant too, that's fan videos. All those fans were in this episode, it was amazing. And Mary Sherlock's, um, John Watson's fiance Mary, uh, Amanda's beautiful, she's absolutely brilliant. And I like how her character, she's a cat lover, uh, just, just amazing. I love her character, I really think it works really well. And I'm glad sort of, Molly and Sherlock so far haven't got together yet because I think it just break Molly's heart but at least this she's still got Sherlock to be amazing and she's got a Sherlock clone which is a bit like Rose having a Doctor clone but this I really wish that um, Doctor Who episodes were exactly like this they should be as good as this Sherlock episode was but they're not but they should be. I loved all the clev I loved all the swearing, how they did the swearing between Sherlock and John. That's amazing. But Doctor Who episode just so be like that. I loved um when um John was stuck in the bonfire. That's the warning against point make sure there's no hedgehogs in the bonfire. Uh, when you have bonfires because that's very important and the hedgehog nearly got oh no but Sherlock saved him yay and I loved when Molly and Sherlock were the detective team that was funny and I, I just I just loved when Sherlock was hearing John's voice and I love and um, here's my palace and we both got my palaces and I love how Darren Brown is in the universe and the Sherlock quiz, he gets about, doesn't he? <laughs> it's like, oh my god, this, so far this new year, I've been really excited and happy so far 2014, and I really love doing these videos, I'm going to do more of them. I get to try, I do things that really make me excited and happy. I've got lots of um, Lego science things to build for the new science competition, but well, I'm so happy this programme was amazing. And eventually I'm going to work out how to use my new tech 
so I could do proper ASMR videos but oh, it's so amazing to have my brain turned back on the tally so you can actually see what I try to say about how my brain works just watch Sherlock just watch Sherlock's mind palace bit that oh I also love Lestrade um, it just if you thought it was going to punch him but it's little oh it's cute it's cutest ever hug for Sherlock and um, I loved how like um, John Watts had kept like and keeps punching him and then he had butt because and then the end definitely occasion and she has got even more bruises that was hilarious but Amanda as soon as Amanda came on the screen she's like oh she's beautiful and like I like her character already because we've seen all them words around her I, I did to so much enjoy analysing this episode with all the other fans then mm, I might do a follow up video when I can actually properly work through all the um, the amount of amazingness there is in the episode it's the best Sherlock ever that's my favourite ever Sherlock episode I think totally favourite ever because the first first hour of it was basically a comedy my mum says oh this is this is a comedy in it my mum was right proper laughing at it she loved it and it was amazing and then got serious but there was still Oh, it was amazing. Um, if my brain could kiss Sherlock's brain, that'd be amazing. Because they're like pals. They're so twins, being twins. And I loved when, uh, Mag oh, when they were playing Operation. That was hilarious. They're like, you they thought they were playing chess, but they were playing Operation. That was fantastic. And um, when Sherlock put the hat on, that was amazing. And then he put his actual shout on. Just at the end, when he goes to see the press, he has to put his shell on. That, uh, but to be like that for those people, that's kind of relatable too. Having to put a shell on for the press, like, could be Sherlock when he's just Sherlock. But it's got to be Sherlock. And it's amazing. I'm, ah, I hope to do later more videos where I'm really happy this year. Uh, do you like my moustache? Hmm. Yeah. And he got a brainy spit. He got brainy spit that he did his moustache. And it was amazing. And it was oh, amazing. Hi, Benedict. Oh, by the way, there's another video about Benedict Cumberbatch. One of my art projects, which is Benedict Cumberbatch. In, well, it's a parallel universe where the cats have his body and then you can adopt to Benedict because his head is on cats. You'll see what it's the Royal Society for the Protection of Benedicts. So you'll see, if you look for that video under my uh, art project bit, it's amazing. Ah, it's amazing. I don't think I've been this excited since I had mini eggs at the uh, at the first Matt Smith episode. It was amazing. Ah, I hope to be excited and happy this year and do lots of more videos even though I'm learning loads about other stuff and doing more moocs and learning and making and creating being a portrait artist hopefully get more commissions. I hope to do that and make lots of stuff and entertain lots of people and make lots of people happy all over the internet. Yeah, I loved it, I loved it. Thank you, Martha. Thank you, Mark Gators. Thank you, all the other writers. Thank you for their art. It's so well directed. When they transfer, the transfers between scenes are so amazing. Like, when they had the cut and then it's eye. They, why should do Doctor Who like that? It should be as good as that. But, oh, thank you. Thank you, Benedict. And thank you, Martin. Thank you, Amanda. And... I've forgotten people's names, Molly and Greg and Anson. Is Anson in it? Yeah, well, heck yeah. Oh, it's amazing. Everybody, every person in the show is amazing. I am so happy. Hey, it's been really happy today. Yeah, I'll hopefully 
have lots more happy videos and thank you for it. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, my dad always goes on about who has this got gumba bitches in it. And it sort of did. <laughs> like the fat club. And <laughs> I'm so excited. So thank you for watching my YouTube channel, Curious Max. Yay. Now I'm going to go and figure out if I can find Movie Maker on my computer so I can put my signature on and stuff. But yeah, I'm really happy and excited at the moment. Yeah, I hope to share lots with you at 2014. So yeah, thank you for watching.